in today's video I will be showing you how to fix an error code in the Xbox app. The error code is 0x and then 701. This error prevents you from downloading and installing games through the Xbox app which is very very frustrating. But before we get started don't forget to like the video if it helped you out and you enjoyed it and also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. We have almost hit 40,000 subscribers but it would be absolutely amazing if you could help us hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of summer this year. The first thing you need to do is completely close down the Xbox app. I'm going to go ahead and close down the app now by simply clicking on the X and you then need to also make sure it's not still running in the system tray and as you can see mine is. The next thing we need to do is just make sure we have all the latest Windows 10 updates installed. To do this all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, click on settings, we now need to click on update and security and you now need to click on check for updates. If there are any new Windows 10 updates, go ahead and install them, restart your PC and then see if the game will now download and install. If it still won't download and install, don't panic because there are still a few more things we can do which will hopefully resolve the problem. The next thing we want to do is click on home again on the settings. You now need to click on to apps and we now need to type in the search Xbox. And you now need to click on Xbox. We now need to click on advanced options. You now need to scroll down and you now need to click on repair. This will now repair the Xbox app. Once you've got the tick, go ahead and launch the Xbox app and see if it resolved the issues you're having. If it didn't, then you also need to scroll up and just simply make sure this option is turned on. Once you have flicked this to on, restart your computer and now see if the Xbox app will work and install your games. If it still won't work, then you need to go back onto this window here. And the next thing we want to do is simply click on reset. This is going to reset the app, but it will also delete all the data. You then need to press reset again. Once the reset has finished, go ahead and launch the Xbox app again and see if it's now working. I would also like to just add Pressing the reset will not delete the games, so don't panic about that. You won't have to re-download them again. If that still didn't resolve the issues you're having with the Xbox app, then the next thing we want to do is completely close down the settings window. And we now want to click on the start menu and type in PowerShell. You now need to right click on PowerShell and go run as administrator. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. You now need to copy the code, the text that's in the description below. You then need to go Control and V to paste the code in and press enter. Once the command has finished running, you now need to restart your PC and then try and launch the Xbox app again and see if it will let you install the game. If it still won't let you install the game, then you now need to right click on the start menu again, click on apps and features and this time we need to type in store. You now need to click on Microsoft store and click on advanced options. We now need to scroll down and you then need to press terminate and we now need to click on reset. You now need to press reset again but this will delete the apps data. So you will probably need to sign back into the Microsoft Store again. Once the reset has finished, go ahead and restart your computer again and then open up the store, sign into your account and also then open up the Xbox app and sign into your account and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing we want to do is open up the store again. So I'm going to now open up the Microsoft Store and you now need to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and click on downloads and updates. You now need to click on get updates and if there are any available new updates you need to install them. Once they have finished installing go ahead and launch the Xbox app again 
and see if that resolved the issues you're having. If you're still having no luck with the Xbox app not working correctly, then if you open up the Xbox app, you might even have a notification at the top. As you can see, mine says this app needs an extra component. Gaming services is needed for playing some games. So if you have this notification, you need to press install. It will then start installing the gaming services. You will most likely get this notification after resetting the Xbox app. Once the install has finished, go ahead and try and install the game and see if that resolved the issue. If you didn't get the notification, then all you need to do now is open up the start menu, type in services and open up services and scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you will see Xbox. You need to make sure the Xbox Auth Manager is running this service here. As you can see, mine is currently running. If this is not running, then it may affect the Xbox app from working properly. So just right click on it and then go start to then make it run. Go ahead, if yours wasn't running, go ahead and test out downloading the game after you set it to running and see if that resolved the issue. If you are still unable to install games on the Xbox app, then the only other thing you can try is to swap users if you have another user account on your PC or create a new user account and make sure you create it as an administrator. After doing all the methods, I am now going to go ahead and try and install the game. So if I type in Age of the Empires and go enter, and I'm just going to go ahead and install this Age of the Empires here and go install. This is the one that I tried installing at the start of the video. I'm now going to select my D drive and go install. And as you can see, it's now gone into queued and it's now beginning to download Age of the Empires. As you can see, by following all the methods that I showed in this video, it has resolved that error code that we were getting, zero X and then seven zeros and then one. I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.